In the drawing we've now created an intersection between existing road and a new road called side road. We've also made a change to the right edge of travelway code by forcing it to follow an alignment. This was used with a design variation. So we've made some changes to this intersection to allow us to create the roundabout. To start off with however we need to have as we've outlined in the conditions, two civil 3D or two civil site design alignments to allow the creation of the roundabout. At present, we have a polyline representing the central island, and we also have a polyline representing the outer edge. Now, at this point in civil 3D, you can go ahead and generate the alignments following the naming convention we use in here. For the civil site design users using AutoCAD and BricsCAD, we're going to go up to the alignments tab and then click on create alignment. We're going to select the inside polyline. Now if you do happen to have drawn a circle, civil side design will convert that circle into a polyline. When we click on it, we're going to provide it with a name. Once we've done that, there's very little we need to do. We're not going to delete the existing polyline because sometimes the polyline could be useful. We are, however, going to reverse the direction, making sure that the direction is counterclockwise. Once you've done that, click OK. We're then going to click on Create Alignment and then pick on the second polyline. Again, we're going to type in the following name. We're not going to delete the polyline, and again, the direction is counterclockwise. Let's click OK. Now we're in a position to start using the roundabout tool. So to start off with, we're going to go back to the roads tab, click on the network strings pull down, and click on roundabout. In the command line, we're prompted to select a roundabout, then alignment must exist. So what we're going to do is simply left click near the inner alignment. Once we do this, the roundabout form will be produced on screen. This is a very simple workflow process which will be aided by the help or hover graphics on the right hand side. First of all, the center alignment has already been picked for us. The outer alignment will be roundabout outer edge. You'll notice that from the alignments that are listed, this is the only one which is available. This is because Civil Site Design looks for any closed alignments that connect back onto themselves, and this is the only one that is available. The template we're going to pick will be the following from the list. This template happens to have the RDUM or LDUM code applied to it. That's very important when we're using this particular tool. The section spacing is currently set at every one foot. We may find that this is a little bit excessive, so we might just type in every three feet. Now underneath, the software will automatically go and search for any road strings and curb return strings that happen to be forming part of that intersection. To have this happen automatically, we can click on the Setup Elements Automatically button. And you can see that the road strings that are associated with that intersection have automatically been added and the two curb return strings have also been added. If for whatever reason the road strings are not added or you want to add them in manually, you can choose by clicking the add string button and the same goes with the curb. As far as the form setup goes, we've done everything we need to do. We've assigned two alignments, we've applied a template and then told the software what road elements are part forming part of that intersection. At this point, all we need to do is click on Create Intersection Model. The software will automatically now add this roundabout into Total Model, and at this point, we're not getting a very good representation as to what exactly has happened, so this is where Model Viewer will come into play. If at any point we want to delete the roundabout model that is being created, all we need to do is open up the roundabout form and click on the delete button to remove it from the intersection and also from total model. For the time being, let's click on OK. Let's now click on the model viewer button from the ribbon. And once inside, we're going to zoom over to where the roundabout has been created. This is a much clearer definition as to how the software has designed the roundabout for us. So first of all, the inner island has been draped onto Total Model. 
and then the outer island has also been draped onto Total Model, but in between that we've basically had our template and the RDUM code projected onto the outer edge. So we're going to look at this with a cross section. If you hover your mouse over the inner island and right click and then click on display cross section, you'll see that we've now got that being shown. So this is a cross section of our roundabout and you can clearly see the edge of the roundabout. In the background we're looking at the total model surface. This is the inside edge and this is the outside edge. To look at this further we can then open up the vertical grading editor directly from the ribbon and you can see there total model is referenced in the background and every sample section we have a point draped onto the total model surface. Close down the forms and then close down Model Viewer.